Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's session, we will discuss how to explain about hybrid framework in interviews. So this is the quite common question, not common question guys, it's a mandatory question in every automation testing interview. When you are attending QTP interview or UFT interview or Selenium interview, any automation testing interview, this is the quite common question. Even I face this question around in 250 plus interviews in my career. That is the importance of this question, guys. And nowadays, we are expecting at least six to seven minutes of answer about the hybrid framework in interviews. That I'll explain you in today's session. And this is the mandatory one. And concentrate very carefully how to explain about the hybrid framework. So if you attend any interview, they'll ask you, explain about your current framework or which framework you are using in your project. Or can you please brief me about your framework? So any question, questions might be different, but answer remains same, guys. So what is the standard answer we are explaining about the hybrid framework? You can start like this, see. So you can start. Uh, in our project, we are implementing hybrid framework. So hybrid framework is the combination of keyword and data-driven frameworks in Selenium. In this framework, we are designing one test script in the format of one method by preparing the business operations by using the page objects performing the validations with the help of the reusable methods and parameterizing the data from Excel sheet and exporting the output also into Excel sheets as well as in the screenshots. And after successfully completion of designing individual scripts in the format of individual methods in a particular scenario or in a particular module, we are calling all the scripts into driver script and execute multiple scripts at a time. After successfully completion of the driver script execution, we need to analyze the results and reporting the defects to the development team if you identify any failed validations. This is how we are working with hybrid framework in our project. Don't stop here, guys. You need to give more explanation about the framework. So this process we are starting after successfully completion of one cycle of manual testing in a project. As soon as we complete one cycle of manual testing, as a QA lead, we are involving to, okay, identify. We need to identify which test cases we need to automate. As soon as we identify the test cases for automation, we are identifying only functional and regression test cases. As soon as we identified the functional and regression test cases, as a QA lead, I need to decide which framework we need to implement. So deciding the framework is just one time activity. The two, first time when we are implementing automation testing in a project, whether it is in a first sprint or a first release or in a 10th release, whenever you are implementing automation first in your project, that time only we need to decide which framework is suitable for our project. So as a QA lead, I need to identify which framework is suitable for us. So I'm identifying the framework based on how effectively we are following the standards, how effectively we are following the guidelines and how effectively we are following the components of the Selenium while designing the test scripts. Based on that, we decided to implement some frameworks. So I decided to implement one framework called hybrid framework. So once I decide the hybrid framework, I need to prepare one official document called FAD document. In our project, we are calling it as a FAD, Framework Approval Document, or some people are calling it as a Framework Approval Design, FAD. So different terminologies we are using this, but document remains same. And some people are calling it as a automation test plan document. So terminology doesn't matter. We are creating one official document to get the approval from the client. As soon as we got the sign off from the client about the framework as an automation QA lead, I need to start design the framework folder structure. We are designing the framework folder structure only in the shared folder of the project. You know that every in every project, when you open my computer, you can see C drive, D drive, E drive. Along with this, we can also see the okay shared drive. In shared drive only, we are going to design the framework folder structure. So as a QA lead, as soon as I got the confirmation from the as soon as I got the confirmation from the okay client, I need to design the framework folder structure. So this folder structure contains six different types of folders. What are the six different types of folders we have? First one is the Eclipse. This folder we are using to manage the Eclipse to design the test scripts in Selenium. Next one is JARSAR dependencies. This folder we are using 
to manage all the dependency files, jar files, exe files, all the dependency files which we are using in our project. Everything we are maintaining in this second folder. Coming to the third one, test cases folder. This folder we are using to manage all the manual test cases which we need to automate. Whichever the test cases as a QA lead, whichever the test cases I'm allocating to the team, I'm allocating them through this folder only. Coming to the next one, test data folder. This folder we are using to manage the Excel files which we are using to pass the data into test scripts. Whichever the Excel files we are using to parameterize the data into test scripts, all the Excel files we are maintaining in the test data folder. After that, we can see test results folder. This folder we are using to manage the test results in the format of Excel files, log files, screenshots. Each and every result strategy will be maintaining in the test results folder. And after that, we can see test scripts folder. This folder we are using to manage the test scripts which we designed in a project. It is simple words, we can say it's a workspace location as well. So there are six different types of folders we are implementing in our project. But remember, the folder structure which I'm explaining you here, this is not fixed in every project. This is all customized folder structure. What do you mean by customized folder structure? According to the project requirement, we can increase the number of folders, decrease the number of folders as well as the change the names of the folders. So uh, don't worry, uh, once you joined in a project, Kishore, in my project, we are implementing hybrid framework, but we have six folders or we have four folders only. Why you explain six? Or if you joined in a new project, they might be using eight folders. So number doesn't matter, guys. This is user-defined frameworks. We can customize this folder structure according to our requirements. So once as a QA lead, once I design the framework folder structure, I need to create the okay workspace, common workspace and the individual workspaces to the team members as well as the common workspace. See, here in this, I created individual workspaces to Ashish, Kishore, and a common workspace for Qshore. The common files we are maintaining in this workspace and the individual team members are designing their test scripts in their respective okay, individual workspaces. Once I design the complete framework empty folder structure, my responsibility completed. So now I'm giving the confirmation to senior members in a project to create the page objects as well as the reusable methods. So I hope you understand till now. As a QA lead, what I did, I just, I identified the test cases for automation testing. I decided which framework we have to implement in a project and I designed framework approval document. And after that, I designed the empty framework folder structure, which contains the common workspace as well as the individual team members workspace. Once I complete the framework folder structure, I'm giving the confirmation to senior members in a project to create the page objects as well as the reusable methods. Assume that I'm the senior member now. So as soon as I got the confirmation from the client, okay, confirmation from the QA lead about the methods, now I need to start creating the methods. This is the structure we are following, guys. So methods we are using to perform the validations. Whichever the validations reusing for multiple times, instead of writing the same lines of the code, we are just creating the methods. These are all the methods we created. But even though I am the senior member, since we are starting first time automation testing in this project, I'm not sure which validations are reusing for multiple times. That is the reason this methods class we are creating with three, four methods hardly. But later stages when we are designing the test scripts, we can keep on updating the new methods into this class with the changes. This is about the methods. So coming to the next one, page objects. Page objects we are using to create the page objects. Each and every team member in a project need not to identify the locators of the elements. They need not to create the page objects manually, guys. They need not to identify the locators manually. So before they are working as a senior member, I need to design the page objects for page level. See, I created page objects for login page. I created page objects for dashboard page. I created page objects for purchases page. Like this, we are creating the page objects for different, different pages. So that is my responsibility as a senior member. So as a senior member, I created the methods. I created the page objects. Clear everybody. So once the framework complete folder structure is ready with the methods and page objects and everything, as a QA lead, I'm conducting some training, our KT session for a couple of days 
to all my team members to explain about the complete framework structure. In that KT session, we will explain them clearly what are all the standards they need to follow, what are all the guidelines they need to follow, and how to use this framework and how to design the test scripts, each and everything we are explaining in the KT session. Once successfully KT session completed about the framework as a QA lead, I'm going to allocate the test cases to the team members based on the experience, designation, as well as the skill set through this folder. What is this folder? Test cases folder. See, I allocated some test cases to Kishore and I allocated some test cases to Ashish. I allocated some test cases to Ria. So like that, we allocated some test cases to team members based on the experience, designation, as well as the skill set. As soon as team members got the test cases, now team members are involved. Till now, team members have not involved. Only manager level, lead level, senior member levels are involved. But now finally, team members are involving to design the test scripts. So they convert the manual test cases into automation scripts by following the standards, guidelines, and also by following the components of the Selenium. So how to convert them? Simple. Now I'm converting, I'm the first team member. I got the test cases for purchases module. So I'm converting the manual test case into automation script, very advanced scripting guys. My suggestion is directly don't watch this okay, scripting and don't watch this video guys. First attend the framework class, then it will be helpful to explain how to explain in interview. Understand? So now I completed designing test script in one module. If you see this test script, very advanced scripting in the market, like you can write the script by using methods, page objects, reading the data from Excel, screenshots, almost all the components of the Selenium we used here and design the test script. After successfully completion of design the individual scripts in the format of individual methods, we are performing reviews to verify whether we followed the standards properly or not. So we are conducting reviews to verify whether we followed the standards properly or not. We are conducting reviews by following the review checklist document. This is the review checklist document we are following and perform the reviews. I'll explain reviews clearly, standards, and I'll explain clearly in the next video what are the standards we are following and all. So after successfully completion of the reviews and everything is fine, then we are calling all the scripts into driver script driver script by calling the methods with the help of the objects we are calling the methods and execute this driver script the completion of the driver script execution we need to confirm how many validations are passed and how many of them are failed and if you identify any failed validations we are reporting those defects to the development team this is how we are implementing hybrid framework and automating our project don't stop there give more explanation still so in this complete process, as a senior member, I'm involving in identifying the test cases for automation. I'm involving in designing the automation framework. I'm involving in creating the reusable methods and page objects. I'm also involving in designing the test scripts and reviewing the test scripts and executing the test scripts. So you need to highlight that as a senior member in the project, you are involving in most of the activities which you are performing towards to automation testing. This is about the framework explanation in interview, guys. Mostly, they will not listen all these things, guys. 90% of the cases, they'll stop you in the middle. Very good, very good, they'll tell you, and they'll go to the next question. And remember, most of the questions you'll get in interview from this answer only. So when you're explaining, while you're, while you're explaining about the methods, they'll stop you in the middle, and they'll ask you, what is a method? What are the methods you created? While you're explaining about page objects, they'll ask you, what is page object? What is a page factory method? Different questions they'll ask you guys. So most of the questions you can expect from this answer only. That is the reason be comfortable, confidently explain about this answer. And this is the one elimination question as well guys. And most of the people will, okay, done the interview by, by listening the answer from you about this framework. That's what be comfortable when you're explaining about the framework in automation testing interview. Thank you all.